I'm Matthew Flamin. And I'm Trisha Flamin. We own the farm with Michael and his wife, Holly. We have a long-term employee, Brandon. We also have two part-time people, and we also have a son, Jack, who's away at university. My family moved to this farm in 1932. About 1950, we started commercially milking cows on the property. Michael will be the fifth generation on the farm. Trisha and I have owned the farm for about 25 years now. Michael and Holly will take over the farm completely at some point when we're ready to be done, but that might be a few years away still. But we enjoy farming with him and owning the farm together with him. We came from a tie stall barn. Uh, we milked about 70 cows in a tie stall. The original part of the barn was built in the 50s when we commercially started milking on the farm. Moving to AMS system was fairly seamless for us in the, in the fact that we like dealing with cows. So the tie stall allowed us to spend a lot of hands-on time with cows. Milking in the system that we are today, it allows us to spend more cow time rather than putting milkers on and off. The part that I like is they are, it's volunteer. They can come and go as they please. In the milking tie stall, it was twice a day, whether they were ready or not. Sometimes they were ready sooner rather than later. They eat, sleep, milk, and drink whenever they want. That's why I like the new build. I personally like the one cup attachment. Time is very quick from others that we've seen. It cleans, sanitizes, milks, and dips all in one attachment, which was hard for me to believe, but we did a lot of research and it is an excellent quality of that system. Uh, we like the somatic cell counter, we like the conductivity, and as we're learning to use it more, we're able to identify cows that need a little extra help from us. I really like how fast the attachments are. I uh, appreciate that and I think they're very cow friendly, whereas in they can separate the, they're comfortable in the box and they can separate quarters at a time, which helps us for uh, finding sick cows and when we do treat sick cows. Because in the end, we still take uh, the milk and feed our calves. So we like to keep the good milk. Even if there's one that's getting dumped out, we still like to keep the good milk to feed the calves. I like the manual attachment a lot, uh, especially on a fresh two-year-old. I bring them in make sure they're eating their grain and comfortable before I put the milker on. I found um, they let their milk down faster and they kick less as well as they're more apt to come back in when we bring them up. So usually the second time or third time in when you put them in the pen they go on their own to the robot. 